How to fix sound not working on a Dell monitor. So if you're struggling with sound issues, guys, first things first, what you gonna do before I show you the settings to tweak, just check your cable connections. Okay, many people do this uh, mistake where the cables are just loose or not properly connected. Make sure your HDMI cable and your display port cables, whether using either of these are properly connected. And I'm saying these ones, it's because these ones also you know, carry audio plus video, right? So these are the cables you want to look out for. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and also make sure to set your Dell monitor as the default audio device. So this is what you do. On Windows, you want to go ahead and find your speaker icon here in the taskbar, right? Click on that. Open up sound settings, okay? Now right here, guys, you'll see the option to choose your output device. This would be the default one, right? What you want to go ahead and do is you want to choose here and come here and choose your Dell monitor as the default audio device. You should see it listed right here and then you just set it as the default device. Okay. Now, what you can also do is you can go ahead and check the monitors built in audio settings. So press the menu button on your Dell monitor to access the on-screen display settings, the OSD settings. You'll find this menu button usually at the back of the monitor. And then that should open up settings such as this. You want to go ahead and make sure that the volume is turned up all the way and confirms that the speaker is actually enabled. And then if that also does not work, you can update your drivers, audio drivers. So right click on start, click on device manager, okay? And right here, you'll find the settings for audio inputs and outputs. Click on this arrow, it will give a drop down of all your, you know, devices. What you want to do is you want to right click on your monitor, this audio device, click on update driver, and then you want to click on search automatically for updated driver software. And if you find that there is a, a driver that is there to be updated, go ahead and install that. And that should usually fix the issue. And if even that does not work, you can test with different devices, different content, you know, play audio from multiple apps such as YouTube or Spotify, or you can connect another device to the monitor, you know, a gaming device, maybe a laptop, see if the monitor is still, you know, device specific or not. And then if that all does not work, you can go ahead and of course, reset the monitor to factory settings. Okay, access the mo monitor's OSD menu, navigate to settings, and then choose factory reset. Okay, that should usually fix the issue. And I hope this guide provided value to you. And if it did, guys, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to find your solution. And I'll see you guys in the next one.